Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be focusing on the calculations that are involved in titration. If you want to learn about the method of titration, I've done a video for that. Video links at the corner. So stay tuned. In order to do calculation for titration, first we have to perform the titration and get the volume of acid that is needed to react with the alkali completely. This table is from when we did the titration. So let's study the table. First we have a rough value. The rough value is to get the estimate, the volume of acid that is needed to react completely. But this is not an accurate reading. So we will ignore this in calculation. Then we have the actual titration. We have three times titration. So when we use the volume of acid that is needed to react completely with the sodium hydroxide solution, here we have to use the average of the three titrations. How we get the average? We add all three volumes together and we divide it by three. So the average that we will get here is 17.5 centimeter cubes. Once we have this volume, we can proceed with the calculation. This calculation is based on the ratio of acid that reacts with base. So this is the moles of acid to the moles of base. This is the whole basis of the calculation. So if the moles of acid is X and it reacts with Y moles of base, then the moles of acid to base will be X to Y. I've covered this formula for moles in another video for standard solution preparation. Video links at the corner. But moles can be calculated through MV per thousand. So the moles of acid will be molarity of acid times volume of acid divided by thousand. Same goes to the base. So it will be MBVB over thousand. And since both sides are over thousand, this is a ratio, so we can eliminate the 1000. And this is what we are left with. This is a ratio. MV to MV of base is equals to X to Y. And since both sides are ratios, we can write them in the fraction form. So we have MAVA over MBVB is equals to X over Y. And this is the formula that we will use for calculations in titration. How to apply this formula? Let's take a look at this example. We have nitric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide solution to form sodium nitrate and water. The first thing we have to look at is the mole ratio. So we have to figure out what is X and what is Y. So the moles of acid, the ratio of acid to base here is 1 to 1. Whenever there is no number in front of the acid or in front of the base, the number is actually 1. So X and Y are 1, 1 to 1. It is always helpful to write down all the information that we already have. So we have the volume of acid that we need to react completely with the sodium hydroxide solution. This volume we got from the titration. And the molarity of the acid we know. We know the concentration of acid that we use. And we also know the exact volume of sodium hydroxide that we need because that is what we measured and added to the conical flask in the reaction. And so we are going to find the concentration of this sodium hydroxide solution. How do we do that? All we have to do is substitute all these values into the formula. So now the molarity of acid and the volume of acid we have, we substitute inside. And the volume of the base we also have. So we substitute everything inside. This is what we get. And here we can do cross multiplication. So we cross multiply here. This is what we get. We make MB the subject of the equation. So it will be 17.5 divided by 25. And this answer is 0 0.7 moles per dm cube. Now this formula can be used to calculate many different things. Here we've found the concentration of the alkali. Because we already have the concentration of acid, the volume of acid and the volume of the base. And of course, all this is based on the mole ratio of acid to base. So first we need the mole ratio. We always start out by writing a balance equation of the neutralization reaction. Once we've identified the mole ratio, and then all we need to do is substitute all the values into the equation, and we can find the unknown. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please do support me by hitting the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'll be producing at least one video a week. I'll see you in the next video.